Good morning. Happy Friday. This week I want to look at commit reveal. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's kind of more like blocking and tackling, right? Uh, that's a sports ball analogy for fundamentals. What we can do with commit reveal is create some private information, hash it, put the hash on chain as like an attestation that we knew the original stuff, and then eventually put the original stuff on chain. It's a way to kind of obfuscate some information until we need to actually put it on chain, right? It's also a good way to generate random numbers, sort of. It's a good-ish way. And what, that, what, what I mean by that is it's a good way to assure players that they're generating a random number that can't be manipulated by miners unless they're colluding with the miners. And so this kind of random number is only good if it's protecting or uh, giving away something that's less than the block hat or the block reward, right? If, if, if they can make more money by withholding a mined block then uh, this scheme sort of falls apart. But if you're doing something where you just want to assure players that it's better than using the previous block hash for randomness, this is a good way to do that uh, in your game or your app or whatever you're building. So uh, we, what we build this week is, uh, it's a, like line by line, you can see how we build it here. And it's uh, a way to do randomness and uh, commit reveal attestation. Uh, the contract kind of just has a commit function, a reveal function, and then a reveal answer function, including some read uh, git hashes. So uh, here's how it works. Basically, a user can, uh, so the first part we'll just do, we do just randomness. So you can commit, basically you commit the hash of a random number and then you commit, and then you reveal the random number. And that's hashed with the block hash from the commit phase. So so then it's sort of like, unless the player and the miner are colluding, it's going to create a random number that uh, is pretty good. It's, it's a lot better than just using the previous block hash. And, and random numbers are particularly difficult in a public blockchain that's deterministic, right? So uh, the fact that it's deterministic means the miners can't just come up with random numbers because every single miner would come up with a different random number. So I think that uh, it's it's kind of a good point to point that out. It's like one of those things, like some, some people use oracles for randoms also. Uh, it's another way to do it, but you kind of want that oracle to be decentralized, right? Okay, so again, like it's like the attack vector. If If the money in the randomness is protecting something more than whatever your oracle is worth, like that oracle could then manipulate it. Okay, so we generated some random numbers, very cool. All right, let's look at, uh, like, let, let's let's say we have the, the second piece of the article is like a quiz, right? So who's the 42nd president? Maybe someone, this guy guesses Jimmy Carter, right? So then he commits that. So, so it's then salted. We just come up with a random salt and we salt it and then hash it. And then he puts that on chain, right? So the only thing that goes on chain is this big nasty hash that really doesn't show other players anything else, right? So then let's say another player comes along and he's like, oh, I know who that was. That was old, that was old Slick Willie. And then he commits that. Come on, MetaMask. All right, so now basically we're at the phase of both parties have committed their answer. They can't change their answer because it has to match that hash. And then we reveal and see who wins, right? So then this guy reveals, and, and there are sometimes, like in some games, the, the specific game theory, like someone isn't really incentivized to uh, reveal their answer once they already know they've lost. So there, there may be some specific schemes here where either you don't care if they reveal their answer, they have to only reveal a, a correct answer, or maybe you have some kind of staking and slashing or something like that. But basically, there we go. Uh, each user has was able to commit privately and then uh, and not be able to see each other's answers and then they reveal their answers uh, at, at a further time. And we also did the same thing with randomness. These again, these are just kind of blocking and tacking, the, tackling. They're just techniques to help you uh, build cool dApps. And these are just more tools in the toolbox. So check out the article. Uh, kind of talk about line by line how to build it. Hit me up on Twitter. Happy Bowtie Friday, my dude.